I'm Chris Deedy, the Timothy E. Wirth Professor in Learning Technologies at Harvard's Graduate School of Education. Thanks for participating in this innovative online experience. All of us are trying to figure out how these massively open online courses, these MOOCs, can enable new kinds of teaching and learning that reach a much broader footprint of people. And we're delighted that you're in the water with us to help us understand how to use these media effectively. We live at a really interesting time because information and communication technologies are doing three things at once. They're changing the kinds of knowledge and skills that society wants from our graduates. An excellent education for the 20th century is not a very good education for the 21st century because a global knowledge-based innovation-centered economy is very different than the industrial economies that the developed countries have been used to and the agricultural economies that many of the developing countries experience. At the same time, those technologies are giving us new methods of teaching and learning, such as this, that are potentially very powerful if we can understand how to use them well. And they're changing the learning characteristics of our students of every age. I teach my graduate students at Harvard differently than I did five years ago because of what they do outside of the classroom for communication, for entertainment, for personal expression that opens up new types of learning strengths and learning preferences that I can build on in my teaching. So part of the opportunity is new technologies, broadening the range of teaching and learning. And part of the opportunity is moving to a new model of education, a 21st century model rather than a 20th century model. In many countries, about a century ago, people moved to the industrial era school and that did well for much of the 20th century, but as I indicated earlier, is a mismatch now. So what would a 21st century model of education look like? I was one of 15 people in the United States who were part of the technical working group for our 2010 National Education Technology Plan. That plan is not a blueprint for any other country than the United States, but it is a vision and I think a very interesting vision of how a 21st century education system might be constructed. And the dominant characteristic that makes such a system so different than the 20th century systems is that it's life wide, that students don't simply learn when they're in a classroom and during the time of the classroom, but that learning is available any place, any time, across a wide range of media and with a wide range of people to help you. We see that starting to happen now with social media in different ways, but it's not happening in a way that's structured to optimize our chances of making very powerful learning environments take place. So what's happening in MOOCs like this is that people are trying design experiments with all different sorts of learning supports to see what works and to see what doesn't, and to help us move from an instructor-centered model of learning, which is necessarily quite expensive, to a student-centered model of learning, which takes advantage of what all of us bring to the table, not just some of us. So in closing, I just want to say that it's terrific that you're part of this that we hope that you will contribute not simply as a learner, but as a co-researcher, and that in the future, uh, we all have a chance to meet together in these new kinds of environments. If you're interested, my professional web pages at Harvard provide a variety of resources that might be helpful to you as you move along this pathway. Thanks for listening.